Welcome to the NBA Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Totero. Ah, I just love the great outdoors. You know why? Because I am part tree and I'm a Pokemon, you know. I was born to be in the nature. Yay! Being camping and whatnot, that's cool. We can use you as firewood. Excuse me? Uh, nothing, nothing. Hmm. So anyway... In today's episode review, we are going to review Pony Life Season 1, Episode 11. In this episode, um, we are going to review a camping we will go and campfire stories. Uh, in a campfire we will go, the main six go to uh, go to mm, go on a trail trotter camping trip, but Rarity has trouble living behind her comforts of modern life. In campfire stories, the ponies entertain themselves by telling some campfire stories after the power goes out at Sugar Cube Corner. Before we get into it, first impressions are in order and Terra, what do you think? I know I keep repeating myself, but to me it's still the same as always. It's meh. It's it's one of those things where you first look at it, first look at it and it's like, oh, okay that's fine, but something you wouldn't go back to it. I mean it did have a couple of good moments here and there, but Nah, I don't know. Still same for me. All right, you know, all right, you know. And as for me, this episode was kind of a rehash because oh no, it's rarity. She can't live without her creature comfort, like glamping. That, that's the thing I remember Silver once mentioned before, which was kind of strange for me. But yes, we we did that before. Like, I I remember we covering that, and Larry Rarity learned her lesson and whatnot. Like she became more. Uh, independence. Yeah, I mean, I remember doing all this, and I, I guess this is the problem with pony life, because some of the ideas are great, but it feels like they're rehashing the same trope. If you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. But anywho, uh, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So we start off the episode with our heroes meeting at the park getting ready to go camping. Rarity, trying to find her camping gear, says that she can't, well, go camping without it because it has all her creature comforts like a light, a futon, an espresso maker and whatnot. And the group just says, oh, Rarity, you can do, you can go camping without that. Like, you have to roughen it up and whatnot. Yeah. So, the girls started go trekking and yeah they sing a very well typical marching song so yay they, that's what they did while marching rarity suddenly f- well got, i think she got scared by a mole that applejack pointed out and she falls into the river uh, so the shite tells her not to panic but yeah Rarity's almost gonna die because she's going to, how to put this, fall off a waterfall. The main five decides to, okay, we need to help Rarity. So everybody form a pony chain link to rescue Rarity from the waterfall. They succeed, they succeed. And I'm gonna pause here. Tara, what do you think? I'm pretty sure people that have seen the uh, Friendship is Magic know that Rarity doesn't like the outdoors, but later on she gets used to it. But then it's like a step backwards almost, where it's like, like I know I keep comparing it, but it's like, you know, you've seen Friendship is Magic and you see this, and again, a huge change. But I do like how the there's a little bit of a fourth wall break, because you think all of a sudden when Applejack mentions about being under the night, starry skies and it shows like you know the wild west and it's like wow that happened fast and then pinky's like yeah no that didn't happen we're just showing a pretty picture what confused me like i guess you know they want their badge and whatnot but instead of just having one person or sorry one pony save uh applejack or two nope they have to form a huge chain just to grab her uh, and pick her up out of the river yet she could easily swim to the edge but i guess they had to make it dramatic but I mean, to be to be honest, I mean, the current of a waterfall is pretty hard to swim in. But you just have to wonder, like, okay, um, you got a powerful alicorn there. Why not lift her up, teleport her? 
I mean, yeah, exactly. th- there's many things you you could ask Rainbow Dash to, but you know what? Just for the dramatic effect, and also if you notice, Fluttershy is the last pony on the link, and she is the one flying. She is strong. Silver would be pr- so proud of her. Yeah, that's true. Once they see Rarity, Rainbow Dash decides to do a cannonball and they swim in the lake for a bit. Yay, awesomeness. So they still can enjoy themselves. So after swimming in the lake, they continue marching on to their, well, campsite. And once they reach there, they decide to, whatchamacallit, uh, set up camp. So Applejack being the quote-unquote leader of this track, decides that Rainbow Dash, Twilight, and Pinkie Pie are to set up camp or to set up tent and Rarity, Fluttershy, and herself are going to make the fire. So the group kind of do their thing and Pinkie Pie, just, well, Pinkie Pie and the group couldn't really set up the tent and Pinkie Pie just asked Twilight, uh, Twilight, do you know how to do this? You're the master of uh, instructions. And I I was thinking that, wait, is Twilight going to have a nervous breakdown of what happened before with instructions? But no, 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 no. Um, she gets a calculator, counts the numbers, and says that to complete the tent, you need seven ponies. And Rainbow Dash just says, uh, this is just too tedious. Let me do this. And she Sonic Green booms her way through the camp and sets everything up, which is kind of cool. On the other end of the group, uh, Applejack asks Rarity to strike some stones to create a spark for the fire. And this is one of those scenarios where not all stones get to produce sparks, but uh, in this case, it's just cartoons, and Rarity just tries knocking them together, and nothing happens. Or she just says, "Oh, I'm no uh, camping pony. Oh, I'm a failure and whatnot." But the group says, "Oh, come on, Rarity, you managed to walk the trail, swim in the lake and whatnot, and you you are a camping pony, and you can do it." So deciding that she uh, she can do it, she grabs the stone and creates a spark and somehow spark goes into the air and creates a star dropping down creating fire and suddenly Pinkie Pie becomes a balloon and explodes in excitement. Yay and now she sets up marshmallows on a stick and they all party through and with that the group have enjoyed the starry night and marshmallows and just enjoy their time. Yay episode ends. But wait, Norman, you're forgetting how the episode ends. Well, how? Where that uh that creature that they mentioned before comes back and it's like they t- it steals the camera and the screen gets all fuzzy. Oh, that 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 yeah, I, I, that, that that didn't really matter. But yes, <laughs> <laughs> could be Discord. So yeah, Tara, what, what do you think, man? It's a nice little cute episode where you see them all together, and you know, Rarity's like, I'm gonna sit back and just brush myself off and they're like no we need to work together to get this badge and yet you see rainbow dash do the work and twilight and pinky are just sitting there so it's like oh so i guess you won't be getting that badge then <laughs> but what badge because here's the thing they're living on a lie <laughs> like uh the badge thing is for Fluttershy because they couldn't really tell her the truth that she's too old to participate and oh my god this is one of those scenarios where what they're doing is basically nothing. Yeah. It's just because... It's just because that they didn't want to hurt Fluttershy's feeling. They had to go through this whole thing. If they just came clean... If they just came out straight with Fluttershy, maybe they didn't have to do this. But who knows? Maybe they just want to go camping. I mean, this is done on a lie. Like, the idea of them going is because... They want to earn badges. That's about it. And sometimes that can be very frustrating. I mean, there should at least be a badge for puns because I know Pinky made a pun after everything was all set up. She's like, wow, that was intense. 
get it? <laughs> Intense. Uh, I don't know if Silva was proud of that one. I mean, that was just too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ah, that was too easy. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Anything else? Well, I, I it was a bit odd now seeing Pinky kind of break the fourth wall and make the puns because. Back then, when we used to do a silver, we'd always talk about how, yeah, Applejack's now the one that's uh, breaking the fourth wall and, you know, uh, coming up with all these witty comments and puns and whatnot. It's like, oh, okay, now it's Pinky again that's uh, breaking the fourth wall and making these comments. What's with sudden change? I think it's just still there, but it's not prevalent. But when you really take a look, see at the episode, it's it has some good merits in it. Like it has some good ideas. It has some interesting topics to discuss. But overall, it's still the same. Like the camping thing. It's like what? Uh, what was the episode that features the three girls going camping? I think we mentioned about this one before. Like this is not the first time we talk about that episode in Pony Life. Oh my god! Like even we are rehashing our own thing. God damn it! <laughs> See, that's how boring this is. I won't say boring. Like it has interesting ideas. It has it was interesting. That's the thing. The episode itself was interesting. But it was not an interesting oh wow, that's cool. It was just like, ah, alright, this happened. That was basically my reaction at the end of the episode where once that thing comes and like t- grabs the camera's like, Oh, okay. So we're going back to that story. Is this going anywhere yeah. or what? <laughs> I know. It could be Discord. That's the thing, it could be Discord. We've Oh wow! Uh, this reminds me of the what season four opener when they were just what uh cleaning out the castle of the two sisters. Suddenly, there's a at the end of the episode, there's an eye like the pony of shadows and whatnot. I mean, it's kind of like what are you? Are are you a filler or something? Are you are you something that doesn't really matter? Yeah, that still kind of annoys me about season four where they show all these uh cliffhangers but it never really gets anywhere yeah true, true it's like oh there's a pony of shadows oh fluttershy's not uh vampire bat thing is fully gone look she's growing teeth again but no they never yeah. discuss it about it yeah i i mean uh for, for this one here it could be that i, I don't know because uh, from what we see well from uh, what from yeah from the parts that we see and whatnot it seems like they are going for an angle, but we don't really see the full picture yet. I mean, people who've seen it all maybe got a general idea, but we're just... Well, I personally am going through this one by one. What about you? Mm, yeah, basically going through it one by one. And like, I'm pretty sure maybe in the past episodes they mention about it again or something, but like I said, most, most, of, most of this is uh, not really that memorable and... You know, yeah. they go through it so fast. It's like, yeah, hey, if you're going to forget about it, we'll forget about it. I mean, it's one of those stories where I wish you guys put in some, I won't say effort, but at least I wish you guys put in, uh, what do you call this, some content, some meat. Like, I'm looking at the video here and it's just 5 minutes, 30 seconds, including audio or including the intro. Uh, but anywho, let's go on to the second um, part. And second part is Campfire Stories. <clears throat> so we start off the episode with Pinkie Pie in the Sugar Cube Corner. And this is where I was like, wait, what? what? Why? That's a waste of story. Like, they were camping. It would be perfect. But no, we go back to Sugar Cube Corner. What? Sorry for oh, sorry for going too early in this, but I just had to point it out. Like, <laughs> how, how do I put this? Like, you, you, you I, I think I know a... what you're trying to go for. You, I think what you're trying to say is why you thought that they were going to go back to what they did before where they did two parts, but it was like one huge episode where it was like part one. Um, Try, trying yeah, to remember was... some of the old episodes, but I know they'd be like, oh, uh, like with um, oh, uh, when Rainbow Dash was having that losing competition with uh, yeah, yeah, Dishwater, yeah. and it's like the first part, it's like, oh no, Rainbow Dash is doing do good, and part two, it's like the big race, and it's like, oh, okay, so it's a continuation. Yeah, I mean, at least okay, if if it's not the arcing story, 
plot or storyline, story you could just at least leave them in the forest and tell campfire stories. It's part of the episode. <laughs> It's part of the episode title. I mean, is is it wrong for me to ask something like that? No. Because I, I do agree with you yeah. there. Because when I when I saw the title of the story, it's like, oh, camp uh, camping stories, campfire stories. So I was like, okay, so we're, we're going back to what we originally did with the uh, continuation of the episodes. But no, once you see already in Shiggy Cube Corner, it's like, oh, okay. Why? But, I mean, I know I'm not asking for, for much. Like, at least give us something coherent. You're already setting it up. Like, you, 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 you ask Devon to get the table, and then you're going to do a 3D. But you didn't. Why? Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, anyway, continuing on. Wow, that was so early. Pinkie Pie in Sugar Cube Corner baking. Um, she's using the what uh, mixer, the blender, and her tablet and phone are almost out of battery. So she go to the wall outlet and this uh, and, and we we discover that the fire marshal is going to have a field day with this. Uh, those electrical outlets with. Those kind of extensions, th- those are big no nos. Yeah, th- those are big no nos. Those are okay, fire I'm surprised that she's happen. still uh, keeping running the business after all that. <laughs> eh, true. But anywho, so she charges her phone and tablet, but somehow runs into a situation where the what you call this power plugs are sparkly. Ooh. <laughs> We cut off to the main, uh, the the others, at the I won't say lobby, but at the front table, uh, enjoying their time with each other, looking at the tablets, and we see all of the girls looking at the tablet, and we see Fluttershy, uh, scrolling through some pictures, pictures of Discord, and um, um. How do I? It's a bit questionable, I guess. I mean, I I don't know. What, what do you think? I, it's I don't know. Like, is there really in? Like, I can't. I don't know how to explain it. That's how weird it is. Oh wow! Well, uh, you know what? I, I'm gonna save it for later because it's gonna be fun. So anywho, the the girls play around with their tablet, and suddenly, oh no! There's a blackout, an outage. Oh no, the horror, the horror. And it's revealed that Rainbow Dash is afraid of the dark. Of the dark. Really? Yeah, I don't really? recall Rainbow Dash ever being afraid of the dark. She would ch- take it as a challenge or something where she'd be like, oh, I'm going to have some scary monsters come out. I can take them on. I'm ready for it. No, this one, she's like, ah, I'm afraid of the dark. And she's freaking out trying to turn the light switch on, but it's not working. <laughs> It's like, and this really? goes back to the, yeah, and this goes back to the episode where Flutish, uh, sorry, Rainbow Dash, is going camping with Scootaloo and the rest. Remember that one? They were out, oh man. Like, uh, at least in that episode, Rainbow Dash had some dignity. And I know what Silver mentions. Don't compare. It's it's not fair to compare. Uh, friendship is magic and pony life they're two separate I- entities but in all honesty you have to remember that it feels like this is just a continuation like a fever dream of Pinkie Pie yeah but anywho um, Applejack just calms everybody down and says that all they need is a bit of um, light so she turns on her tablet and puts it in a bowl to become a makeshift flashlight and I am going to pause here. So, Tara, what do you think overall? Like with the whole episode? No, no, to this point. Sorry, um, maybe I worded wrong. Yeah, the way you said it, it's like, we're done already? <laughs> no, not yet. But no, it's right now, like for where we are right now, 
I'm like yeah, I like I said, I'm surprised that Pinky's still able to keep the business running. I'm surprised it hasn't gone on fire yet. Like, I mean, for Celestia's sake, she has a carrot plugged into one outlet. Why? <laughs> uh, maybe that carrot is a USB stick. Maybe, but still, she even tapes around everything. It's like you you got to be at least a bit smart about it. But no, so then she, when she finds two free sockets, like, yeah, I'm going to quickly plug this in. Ooh, pretty lights. And then power goes out. Yeah, I mean, Binky. Uh, I, I'm just wondering why, how, like, uh, insurance? No? I don't know, just, it's hard to explain. I know. Okay, well, what happened besides that? I mean, uh, like, anything else beyond that? Or well, we already like, talked about much? Rainbow being afraid of the dark, and I'm actually kind of glad that this, okay, this is one little thing I do like where they don't say, oh, technology is everything. You know, you can do something when the power's out. You can put a tablet in a bowl and tell stories like a campfire. It's like, okay, you know, that's a pretty clever idea. You know, get the little kids to have a good idea of what to do when a power goes out. True, true. I mean, I, I can agree with that. Because, I but mean, nowadays, you got good. kids that are, like, four years old already having their own phones. Oh, my God. Tell me about it. I have a, a friend who has a niece who has a phone and watch TikTok. And, like, she's, what, two? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I know. Uh, but, anyway. Oy, oy. Um, is that all, Tara? Yeah, that's all I got so far. Alright then. So let's continue on. So, uh, the girls decide to tell stories with each other. Like a campfire story. Yay! So, it's Fluttershy. She she struck up the idea and tells the story about how they made 27 layer cupcakes. Which is already insane on itself. So she tells the story like, okay, they were in Shukuku Corner. Uh, Twilight managed to build, make, make a cake, but Rarity comes in saying that she wants more layers, more layers. And then Pinkie Pie has an oven and suddenly a big giant monster came out. So it's all chaos, all chaos. I am concerned for Fluttershy. Her obsession with chaos now is a bit troubling. I mean, I got nothing... <laughs> But anywho, um, Rainbow Dash says that that didn't happen. Uh, it was this. We were going to make a 37 day cupcake at the fastest time possible, like a speed run. And w- while doing it, um, it kind of wasn't it because um, Rainbow Dash is misremembering and it's Twilight's turn now to tell the story as accurate as can be. So in her version, like we all, uh, uh, it was a normal day in Sugar Q Corner. We are hanging out and then we break a cake. Uh, we broke, like this is a step-by-step thing that Twilight does, which is pretty up her alley. But Rarity says, oh darling, that's nice and all, but that was too detailed. Nobody really wants to hear it. And Rarity just says, Okay, now it's my turn. Now listen to my story. Okay, so it happened in a dark and gloomy forest. And it was so scared and stuff. And the girls just point out like, Hey, um, Rarity, what does that have to do with us baking a cake? And Rarity just says, oh, nothing, because I, I just want to tell an awesome story. And Pinkie Pie just says, that wasn't the story we were talking about. Oh, God. And I'm just going to skip forward here because it's just going to be repetitive. So the girls argue for a bit on what story was the real story in, in here. And basically, we didn't really get a resolution because... Rainbow Dash with her speedy story, Pinkie Pie with her story, Fluttershy and Twilight with their own stories. So you have multiple versions of quote unquote the same story but uh, seen from different perspective. And they might have 
misremembered the story, so they got no idea. Then before they can go to an all-out war, the power's back. Yay! Awesomeness. So now, um, before the what? Before Shukuku Kono goes to another blackout, they decide to pull out all the power plugs to make sure nothing burns out and blow fuse. After all that is done, they have a good laugh. Decide that hey, this is awesome. We should do this a lot. Uh, sorry, we should do this again sometime in the future. And Twilight decides, oh yeah, I know what to do. I should write down a journal of the things happening so we could be really accurate in our storytelling. Ha 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 ha. With that episode ends. So, Tara, what do you think? Mm, Any final thoughts? It was meh. Like, again, it's one of those episodes you see it once, won't go back to it again because it's like, there's, they're on such short time and it's, we only went through three out of the main six of how they see this uh, cupcake or cake story because it's pretty much after uh, Rarity's side story, not about the cake, but, you know, a different story. Then they, they talk about, oh, how many layers was it? Or was it cupcakes? And we don't even see the electrician come in. So it's like, oh, yeah, whatever happened to that guy? And then, you know, they quickly mm-hmm. unplug everything. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess we're not going to get the actual story of what happened. <laughs> it's easy. What happened was Pinkie Pie plugged in too many sockets and the housebreaker couldn't handle it and tripped. But you know, honestly, um, the episode was interesting again. It was not great, but I do like how we get multiple stories about certain events and how they were seen. But it kind of gets repetitive when you had an awesome idea and you had to muddle it down with what just happened, with them being at Shugu Corner and Shugu Corner being uh, had a blackout. The the only thing just combining them is because they uh just the word camping and uh I mean I feel like it was was opportunity to tell the ghost story into in the woods. Ay, ay, ay. But anywho, um anything more to add Terra? Pretty much what you said it is a bit of a disappointment that they could have done this like outdoors or something like you know, continuation of what they did before with the campfire stories, hence, you know, the title of the episode. But no, just back in Shibu Shib- Corner and, you know, like, how they could have easily started off the episode with Rarity, come here. Like, after she's relaxing, she's like, Rarity, get over here. We're about to tell campfire stories. And then, you know, then that's when they have that, co- that conversation about all that. Yeah, it, it, uh, that, that, is, that is how it should have gone. But no, nah, we, we didn't. We didn't get that. I don't know. Okay, Um, I, I mentioned that ooh, Fluttershy with her thing, like her obsession with chaos. I, oh man. I, the, the more I see it, right? The more I think is just that Fluttershy has an obsession with Discord. A unhealthy dis- obsession? Like, she is into the chaos. Like, she's usually a level-headed pony. But in this scenario here, she is willing to do dramatic things just to create chaos for chaos sake. I mean, in the last episode, she threw in a giant cupcake just to erupt the whole place. Why? Because it's fun. I mean, either this girl is rubbing off on her, or she's just loco in the coco. She's a killer. I know. Uh, but anyway, that's the review for this week's. So, Tara, what are we going to do for next week's episode? Well, next week, we are going to be going back to... Uh, well, I guess you could say it's the start of a new era or so on and so forth. But we're going to be going back to my... Oh, I almost said it again. Gee. We're going back to My Little Witch Academia. Or acad- yeah, academia, academia, so, you know, people pronounce it in so many ways. Yeah, we're going there with season two. Yay, awesomeness. That's going to be fun. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themdshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? 
world of good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Torterra1324. Or they could just do a Google search and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, awesome. Guys, go check him out. And also be subscribed and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also get your sound from live.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a weekly access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I have been Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Mia Show. See ya. Bye-bye.